Summary of Cake by Kate Kennedy Liz just gave birth, and today is her first day back at work after taking time off for maternity leave. She drops off her son Daniel at the Kresh Kids Resort and feels a lot of worry and guilt about abandoning him there. When she gets to her desk at work, she is surprised by how little has changed. The only sign that time has passed is that the date on the calendar has changed. Caroline, Stella, and Julie, her co-workers, welcome her back by asking about the baby and talking about their own maternity leaves. Tim and Dave look down on this, though. The women were very bored when they stayed at home, and they expect Liz to have similar horror stories about routine and feedings in the middle of the night. Liz, on the other hand, says that she liked staying home and can't connect to them because of it. Liz reads a pamphlet for new mothers about going back to work. It talks about how most women feel relieved when they leave home and go back to work, but Liz feels worried and unhappy. She calls Kids Resort to check on Daniel. The attendant tells her that her 18-month-old son is riding a bike, and it's clear that the attendant isn't even watching him. Julie then asks Liz if she can give $3 to a morning tea party where there will be cake to celebrate a birthday and Liz's return to work. Liz pulls a $5 bill out of her bag and catches a flash of a picture of Daniel. She also finds a note she wrote to her replacement about how important copies and bills are. This makes her realize how pointless she thinks her work is. Later that day, Caroline, Stella, and Julie take Liz out to an Italian restaurant for lunch and cake. When Liz eats the lasagna, she realizes it was bought at the store. The women ask Liz if Daniel is doing anything cute these days. When Liz tries to act like Daniel, she realizes that she is not entertaining her friends. She gets mad when the women start talking about how important it is to wean babies early. Later, Liz gets upset because she thinks Frank's question about how she feels about an upcoming meeting is about leaving Daniel at Kresh. Liz is embarrassed and can't wait to get home from work and pick up her son. When Liz gets home that night and tells her husband Andrew about how hard her day was, he doesn't care and reminds her that she wanted to go back to work so they could pay off their mortgage. He also gives her a cake he bought for her first day back to celebrate. Liz brings Daniel into the bedroom and takes off her work clothes so she can feed him with a bottle. He moves his hand towards her chest, and she feels guilty and tired. When she finally gives in and feeds him, she starts to feel better about her day. When he is asleep, she takes off her watch and chooses to look at the mortgage again to see if there is any way she can stay at home. About the author. Kate Kennedy was born in England, where her father was stationed with the Air Force. When she was a child, however, she went to Australia with her parents. After getting a BA in literature from the University of Canberra, she worked as a community arts organizer, a waitress, a kitchen hand, a theater director, and a writer in residence at several schools in Melbourne. She also lived in central Mexico for two years, where she worked with Australian Volunteers International to teach peasant communities how to read and write. Kennedy writes in many different styles. In 2010, her book The World Beneath won the People's Choice Award at the NSW Premier's Literary Awards, and in 2011, her poetry collection The Taste of River Water won the C.J. Dennis Prize. But her short stories are what most people know her for. Her book Dark Roots was in the running for the Steel Rudd Award, and a few years later, her book Like a House on Fire got the award. She lives in Victoria, Australia, right now. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.